Sagittarius, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Be sure, guys, to click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. It comes out every single week. Sagittarius is up every single week, Tuesday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. Um, there's always an extended reading that I hope that you guys will join me for. The primary aspect in the sky that's going to color your week is the semi-square to Saturn. Jupiter's all about expansion. In Aries, it's hot and fiery and it's been pulsating. That semi-square to Saturn is all about restriction. It's not going to be so much that it can contain you, but just enough to irritate you. What obligations do you have? What work obligations especially? What financial obligations especially? You're going to feel a tightening and a grip. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is all about getting a grip, Sagittarius. This is all about you taking over and deciding, I am not going to be... Um, dominated or restricted by these restrictions or a sense of how am I restricting myself or allowing something that's smaller than me to become bigger than me. Slow and steady wins the race. What are you in a rush for? This is also a sense of self-knowledge and security, certainty in oneself, feeling really good about who you are and running the race at your pace instead of somebody else's. So you're not running this race to win, Sagittarius. You're running the race because you love it, because you're enjoying it. And if you don't enjoy it and you don't believe in it, then there ain't no damn reason why you should be in it. And that's what Turtle teaches us, to go with the flow and to only give your attention to those things that have a direct connection to joy. And I don't mean pleasure, because joy and pleasure are two totally different things. But if your mind is focused on winning... It's not focused on the right thing. If it's focused on enjoying and doing something that you really believe in, then ultimately that's, that's happiness. Every single day you wake up, I think what your mind has to be focused on when turtle pops up, what your mind has to be focused on predominantly right now is what really matters to me. This whole week is about relearning what is really valuable and what we're really good at. Instead of any racing, all of those pressures with you because of that square to Saturn, semi square to Saturn, it's all about um, pressures from, especially like I said, work, finance, or society. How big am I? Why am I putting myself into uncomfortable and restrictive positions just to feel like I am somebody with regards to how other people have validated me? Think about that. Um, we have trust the great mystery. This is whale energy. It's also six plus five is 11. So awakening to splashing down and feeling your emotions. This will be a very emotional week for you. And it's saying, allow yourself to be carried away by it. Allow yourself to splash down into it. Allow yourself to trust what you are feeling. Maybe more than you would have naturally trusted what you were feeling. With all this water energy, there's just this sense of, a real sense of maybe being lost in emotion or washed. You can either be washed away by the emotion or you can jump into it, trust it, honor it, and allow it to carry you along. Go with the flow. In other words, stop giving meaning to every little feeling, right? I don't know if you saw that meme, but it's just impacted me ever since I saw it. It's not about giving meaning to every feeling or overanalyzing yourself. It's letting yourself feel and letting yourself heal um, and letting yourself heal through feeling instead of there's this, there, like, there's this blockage or this insistence, especially like this ambition maybe that's taking over you guys to kind of that I, I have to do this because, oh, I've gotten this far. Stop. Stop. You've gotten this far because of your value and your worth and you'll get farther if you don't let yourself be restricted by what other people think of you. Embrace the in-between. Embrace that right now, this is not a time for speed. 
embrace that right now, Sagittarius. This is a time for actually enjoying yourself. And if you are finding yourself in a position of not feeling joy, actual joy, once again, not pleasure, but just being able to live in the moment and trust the moment, where are you if you're not here? If you're always in the future, you're nowhere. If you're always in the past, you're nowhere. Where are you if you're not in this present time? This is about realigning yourself with now, with the current moment, instead of constantly only like thinking about, well, where do I want to go next? Where do I want to go next? There's going to be things that happen to you this week to make you slow the fuck down. Now, I don't know what that's going to be, but I'm telling you right now, it will be a hell of a lot less painful if you submit to the flow and allow it to just carry you along. This is a really good time for you guys to just, I don't know. Not push yourself. Let spirit be your guide. This is about spirit messages coming in through, you know, divine totems, animals interacting. This is also about foresight. Let spirit be your guide. This and that are true. This is another one of those ambiguous, it's almost like that sense of trusting the future, trusting in the future, not having to know what the future is about, but having fun in the moment, because that's what dolphin energy is about. It's almost like your future was a lot brighter or being reminded that your future was a lot brighter when you were happy about where you were in the current moment. Being focused on the forward is not making you very happy. Um, this and that are true. Be playful. Um, seeing a playful future or looking something that you were looking forward to, something that was making you happy or filling you with a great deal of joy. Maybe it feels like it slowed down and it's taking too long, but that's in relativity to what comparison to what it, it's probably your expectations. And this is reminding you once again, we have slowed down. It's the summertime. Things are slower now. Mercury is in Mercury is in Cancer. Thoughts are happening slower. Communications aren't coming in as fluently. Things are ambiguous and a lot of our mental clarity is being impacted by our emotions. Everybody, not just not this isn't just for you. You're ruled by Jupiter, but everybody is affected by this. And then Venus is about to move into Cancer. This is a slow paced energy, Cancerian energy. Cancerian energy moves from side to side. It doesn't do a direct line. That may be frustrating to you, but if you accept it for what it is, and in, hey, this is at least in the Northern hemisphere, this is like a time for us to slow down and just enjoy our summer vacation. And if you're in the Southern hemisphere, this could be a time for you to, you know, adapt to the colder weather and slow down simply because maybe it's more family oriented time or you're staying inside more. Either way, it's not, the universe isn't working against you telling you to slow the fuck down. The universe is working for you. And if you are able to jump onto that flow, then you'll start to see life is going to be joyful and feel better. There's so much water energy around. It feels like there's a lot of healing that has to happen with regards to feeling feelings, letting them out. Time for a beginner mind. So this is time to learn something new. It's also time to maybe start something new. It's saying, hey, you've earned it. You have the armor. You're prepared. You're ready. Um, this could also be about joining new groups. But primary, primarily, this is about learning something new. It's almost like you're ready. You know, that you, you, you're not walking into this new space unprotected. Porcupine is never unprotected, but it is about being sharp, you know, sharp witted. And it's also about becoming sharper. So there's, there's, it's a good, it's just a good time for education and learning. Time for a beginner mind means also thinking about things in a different way looking at things in a different way. And I feel like that's almost literal in that take a step back. And when you take the step back, see things from this different perspective of taking things a step back, like instead of being on top of them or trying to force them forward. 
I feel there's a lot of energy or pressure that's pushing you to or that that you're getting because you are pushing and you're pushing too hard. And that's why you're starting to feel even defensive or irritated. Maybe that you're battling against something or against other people not seeing what you see. But people are only capable of being where they are. And if you're constantly in a rush, then you're missing the fact that they, you're missing maybe all the details that they don't have to be able to catch up to where you are. If you slow down and meet them where they are, it's going to be a lot easier. You won't feel so irritated all the time. Sagittarius energy, please. Sagittarius. Remember, Sagittarius, um, to like this video and comment below, man, because you know I love to know how you're reacting and how this energy is impacting you. Um, and also share it on your social media platforms. That really helps. You can also consider joining the Unbound membership to this channel, which will give you unlimited access to every extended reading that I've ever made. And you can watch them as many times as you want, unlimited. And you'll also get live uh, members only chats with me, plus all the other channel perks. So consider that. We have overcome any obstacle. This is Taurus energy. Taurus energy is slow moving, but it is you will triumph. There's a sense of stubbornness, also a sense of bull in a china shop trying to push through something. It is a sense of you will push through. So if you're going to push through, you will push through. These are things that you will get through. Why be worried? All you're doing is wasting energy. There really is no practical, like you're going to get through this. You're going to get through whatever it is. There's a lot of, there's lots of horns here. There's a lot of like prickliness here. Um, there's a lot of being, feeling like you're being pushed or feeling like you have to push. Um, and then we have trust in the magic. This is also Aquarian energy. It's about being brand new. It's like in some ways, let go and let God, which is exactly what this energy is. Whale spirit, just dive right in, like open yourself up to being surrounded by the emotions, especially if you're trying to not feel things. Also a sense of, yes, you have broken through. Things are not going to go the same as they used to. They're not the same anymore. You're not the same. The situation's not the same. Maybe you're pushing hard because you feel like I have to. The old you had to. You don't have to anymore. The whole situation is new. It's time for a completely different mindset and to trust that, yeah, this is something new. You're a brand new you. Our fucking earth is not only does it revolve around the sun, but the sun is revolving somewhere in this fucking galaxy and even the galaxy is spinning through the universe. You are not the same person in the same place that you used to. The planet that you're on isn't in the same place that it used to be. This is not the same. So it's almost like, yeah, this is a totally fresh start, a complete fresh start to something. You clearly worked hard for it. Now the question is, are you going to let yourself enjoy it? Or are you going to feel like you have to keep validating your value by proving yourself and pushing, which is just causing you undue stress? It's your choice. Sagittarius. So we have Capricorn energy. Once again, that's what's pushing it. It's interesting because, oh, Chiron, hello. That's nice. That's really interesting, actually, because um, pretty soon Jupiter's going to be conjunct Chiron at toward the end of this week. So there it is. There's a sense of work versus play. And play is you, Jupiter, and work is Saturn. And like I said, that's what's going to be the predominant aspect and energy that all of you are going to be fighting up against, this struggle between work and play. And how do I balance out my work-home-life balance? Because it seems like almost in some ways you're bullying, you're being bullied, you're being pushed, and you're being pushed out of being yourself. It's like bring back the fun, bring back the, the good times. And I'm not saying like quit your job. I'm just saying that there is that sense of 
you got to get out. You got to do things. You got to be you even in the presence of other things. This is, this is about work-life balance. That's what it is. Sagittarius energy is just like going for it. But Capricorn energy is about getting things done. Getting things done and going for it at the same time. And how are you balancing them out? Chiron is all about injuries. It's all about what have you learned from your injuries? What have you learned in the past? Like how, how have you made yourself suffer in the past when you haven't been able to balance your work and your play? And this is about watch out because there could be injury because of restriction or because of feeling too confined and pushing too hard against those confinements, especially if you're the one somehow confining yourself, there is a chance for injury, actual injury or illness. Then, but Chiron in general is a really beautiful energy. It teaches through struggle. It teaches through restriction. So what are you learning with all of this? Like, what are you learning? That's a good question. I, leave the comments below. What, what have you learned? I would like to know. No, let's do the moon card first. Sagittarius. <coughs> Sagittarius. Sagittarius. We have surrender to the divine full moon. We have a full moon, very important, on Wednesday of this week. That's tomorrow, if you're watching this on Tuesday. So ultimately, surrender to the divine. Releasing stress, releasing tension, releasing the emotions. It's saying to you, this is going to be a very emotional time, but it's also saying surrender to what you cannot control. Like allow yourself to stop pushing so hard. Surrender to the divine. Capricorn and Chiron, both teach through restriction. What it's trying to teach you is to stop resisting or pushing against the restriction. Almost in some ways be like, if you want control, take control. Go the fuck ahead. Whoever's creating these criteria, then fucking go ahead and listen, I'm just gonna sit back and let you be the stronghold. I'm gonna let you be the backbone. I'm gonna let you fucking do all these restrictions and I'm just gonna play along with it. That's kind of what it is. Surrender, release, and let go. But what do you want them to release and let go? Sagittarius. All that glitters is not gold. So it's almost like you're gonna start to realize that even making more money or more fabulous things is, is not so fabulous. It's, it's like a future without all the complicated stuff and all the bougie stuff because a lot of times Capricorn energy is all about I want the best. I only want the highest quality. And it's not that you don't deserve that. It's that it's almost like in some ways you're like killing yourself or injuring yourself for that. And ultimately that's not necessarily, that's not quality of life. It's not the same thing. And then we have regeneration. So um, getting yourself back, discovering yourself back, and also discovering your connection to faith again. It's saying that spirituality is going to help you re reclaim who you are, whatever, how much ever you have lost yourself to all these fucking external pressures or like what you feel, what you, all the power, all the pressures that you feel are on you. It's like you're starting to re, it's, it's not saying that you, it's not saying that you have to, it's saying that doing it, Sagittarius, doing it, um, reconnecting to a sense of spirituality, whatever that is, even if it's just walking in nature, being in nature or doing those things where you used to, um, doing those things where you used to like, um, that used to just make you feel connected. Cause that's really truly what spirituality is. It's not about a belief in a God or many gods or whatever full moon rituals, you know, it's, that's, it's about feeling connected and being connected and realizing that you're not in this alone. That's kind of what it is. It's like renewing that sense of connection to what you can't see, to what isn't weighable or or like three-dimensional, which is what Saturn always is. It's, it's almost like your focus has been too much on that Saturnian income, money, um, 
material resources, that kind of shit is like causing you a great deal of harm right now. So it's reconnecting to the happiness, reconnecting to the little things, like allowing those things to grow inside of you again, because all that glitters can be really deceptive. And then I'm going to take these cards. So what do you want them to, we know what they, we want you to do. Stand in your own dignity and even take time to be by yourself. This is real Virgo energy, hermit energy, but it's almost like what are your actual standards and how do you actually want to be treated? This is also telling me that maybe your boundaries, you have compromised your boundaries because you've been too ambitious or you've allowed too many pressures or too much um, kind of like a responsibility to be put on you. So it's kind of a sense of standing in your own power again and really defining your boundaries so that you liberate yourself and find a greater sense of balance to your life. Once again, that's coming through play. It's interesting, rarely is there a Sagittarian who doesn't find time to play, but it feels like you have not been, and that has thrown your life out of balance. Let's go to the extended guys. I love you, and I'll see you over there.